Hello everyone, once again it is XSnaggerWes and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum or whatever the hell I'm deciding to call it. I'm probably gonna end up calling it that anyway. Uh, just, just for continuity or, you know, you guys can laugh at the title and then me saying, you know, welcome back to so and so. So, let's see if I can buy some Pokeballs. I forget exactly what I'm supposed to do to trigger the thing. There we go. He says that the guy at the outskirts stand used to sell Pokeballs. So that's who we're looking for. Just out of curiosity. Okay, I am actually going to cut this episode a little shorter than the others because I, I only have, um, I have less time in this episode to actually do things. I have to go out and do chores and stuff like that and hopefully it won't get too much in the way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go out to the outskirts stand to hopefully buy some Pokeballs because that guy said that the guy at the outskirts stand sells Pokeballs. If you notice, I'm trying to trigger the events in a certain order, and maybe keep this down on time. You know, maybe keep this from being a very extended series, even though it probably will because I don't video edit yet, and I don't actually plan to. As I said before. But I do plan on releasing these kind of staggered so that you're not sitting there waiting for them forever and then and then you never get them because I didn't record anything ahead of time. Uh, and so, I can buy Pokeballs and Great Balls. There's actually a glitch to uh, recycle Pokeballs and stuff like that, but I'm not going to use it in this game. At least, I'm going to try not to use it until it probably gets like really extreme. Just get out, get out, get out. Um... But yeah, so I'm going to have a little fun with this. <sighs> Alright, so now that I have Pokeballs, I'm going to go back and continue the game. I want to try to play along with the story, maybe not do some, maybe not do so, so many battles, or rather, I'm going to do battles, obviously. Oh, something terrible is happening. A whole lot of scary men came here. I think I even saw those two creeps who took off in the truck earlier. Interesting. Okay. So let's go check that out. Actually, how's my party doing? Okay, my party's fully healed. That's awesome. Let's go check out those scary men. They're probably at the mayor's office. I know I'm kind of ruining the as the the element of surprise and suspense, but you know, I you know I got I got to do this in time and manner. It's that girl. It's he's the one that took the girl from us, dude. She didn't belong to you. Shut up. Oh, now aren't you boys frightfully pathetic? You mean to tell me you were bested by these darling infants? Darling, did you say your name was Wes or something? Wait, how the hell did? Why do you know my name? I don't like saying this, but we're not at liberty to keep your lady friend at liberty. I love the way he said that. That sweet young thing. She can see things that ordinary people aren't supposed to see. That will ju that will not do for uh, what we're planning to do. No, it just won't do at all. If you don't like pain, like most people, you can avoid the pain by keeping your nose out of places it needn't be. Boys, oh boys. Yes, yes we will. Boys, I shall make my return to Pyrite now. Do remember that I will be waiting for you to return, for you to return with the little lady. So they're gonna try to kidnap this girl again. So let's try not to screw this up. So Mirror is kind of silly. I like his music. Hopefully we'll be hearing some of that later. So I cut him off guard earlier, and now he's apparently prepared to battle us. Let's see what he's got in store. Whisper in a low tide. It's not like special yet. Let's see how well he does with that. I'm actually suspecting these guys are a little bit stronger than before. Just now that it's the second time I'm fighting them and their Pokemon has have obviously leveled up a little bit. 
even if it's only one level. But so of mine. So we also have that advantage. Oh, you know what? I never explained earlier about the about why uh, it's kind of scary that these Pokemon can attack people. So say they have the HM moves, like Cut and... Um, maybe not Surf, but Cut and Flash or whatever. That means that they could pro pro potentially blind a person or, you know, cut them up and s seriously hurt them. Not to mention the fact that a Charizard can melt rocks. Imagine what a Shadow Charizard would do to a human if they were told to attack them. And that's why these guys are a little bit scarier. Or that's why this game is a little bit darker, why these Pokemon are a little bit scarier than normal Pokemon, because of basically their you know, their Pokedex entries telling you just how powerful they really are. And here is the moment of truth. I said I wasn't going to be resetting the game or cheating or re-recording. I really don't think I should do that. But I'm gonna try to keep this I I'm I'm gonna try to capture all of the Shadow Pokemon. At least to some extent. I may go a little cheeky later on and um, and maybe use the uh, Pokeball glitch if I start running low on stuff, but until then, I'm going to try to play it fair. And if I lose, I lose. If I win, I win. If I lose the Shadow Pokemon, there's probably going to be another chance to catch them anyway. And if not, that's kind of a shame because, you know, this game is, this game is pretty unforgiving, but I am going to try to get all of these Shadow Pokemon in the end and even the Ho-Oh which you can get at the end of this game. So, if I recall correctly, if I hit this Makuhita with a Psychic Attack, it will make it faint. So what I'm going to try to do is take it down a little bit easier. And, uh, hopefully that works. So I'm going to use Bite, sadly. That's what I have in my arsenal. Oh yeah, another thing too, if I get suggestions for nicknames for my Pokemon, um, feel free to put them in. I will I will actually take some suggestions and name some of my Pokemon. As long as it's like, as long as it's not like, not an offensive name or not like a, a name that's just all letters or something like that. I prefer to be a little bit nicer to my Pokemon, I prefer to treat them more like, like Pokemon. It's fun to name people funny things and stuff, but it's not fun to constantly have to have Pokemon named like Poop and Crap and Wang and stuff like that. See, even though I am being vulgar on the channel and all that, I still try to I still try to keep it a little undertone. You know, maybe not maybe not uh, too crass. First try. So happy. Ugh. Maybe later I can I can afford to do multiple takes and all that kind of stuff, but here I'm just kinda glad I'm doing it the right or I'm able to do it the right way and I'm still skilled enough to, you know, wound the Pokemon without hurting them or without like knocking them out. Says I, she's she's happy because I I snagged the Pokemon from the goons. I think she will also be happy if you just beat them. Maybe a little disappointed that you didn't. Wait, where's where's Escade? Escade should be here. Well, here's 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 this woman who lives here too. Apparently, Let's see what she has to say about the mayor's gone missing. Must be nice to travel with a cute girlfriend. Wow, she's flirty. Whew. Don't know what I'm gonna do about that woman. So the mayor's gone. 
I don't, maybe they kidnapped him too. And there's these guys guarding the exits. Now, I believe last time I chose a four alligator, I've never gone with a bay leaf. Oh, by the way, um, they each have Johto starters. So this guy will have a bay leaf, the blue guy will have a four alligator, and the red guy will have a typhlosion. Now, having a water Pokemon early in the game actually will help, especially with these, especially with this desert scene. A lot of people have ground type Pokemon. Um, I am, however, going to go with the fire type anyway. And here he is. His name is Rosso, I believe. And I'm going to try to catch his Pokemon too. He's a mystery troop. Now, I don't think my Pokemon have been killed from the last battle, so if I try to send out my Shadow Pokemon, there might be some trouble there. Okay, so I have a little time, so if I go over in this battle, it's not such a big deal. I'm looking at my timer here, making sure I'm not uh, not taking too much time to taking too much time away from my chores and stuff. This is the cool thing. In the beginning of the game, if you know anything about your Pokemon types, if you know the type matchups and everything, it's it's actually really nice because you get you get that advantage to take them out really easily early on in the game. Ah, uh, lowering my accuracy, I see. And by the way, with this game's uh, theme being double battles, it, it, it also adds another level of difficulty. Not only that it's just double battles, but that the Pokemon tend to be higher leveled in this game. And this game may not go on for very long, but it is it is a much more difficult game than the main ones in the series, or the ones in the main series. Uh, and it, it's also a bit darker timeline. I like what they did here with how they were... Uh, with how they were doing the game, so that's kind of frustrating. That's even more frustrating. I might actually go over on time, but we shall see. My Pokemon are so strong, I don't actually have to heal in between all of my battles. I will have to make sure I do that soon. But it's not such a big deal yet. So there's a chance that either my uh, Umbreon will miss the next turn, or that Quibava will use Dig again. However, I'm still going to attack it and set up this point. Um, with my Umbreon, just because I know how much damage Bite and Secret Power will do to it now, and I'm not sure how much damage my Espeon can do to this Quilava, and I don't want to kill it, I want to capture it. Even though, later on in the game, I can capture it. I just don't want to take any chances with this. Like that. Chances like that are common here. And this is, this is another thing. I don't do Nuzlocks or anything like that. I don't you know, if a Pokemon faints is dead, I don't do that. I, I definitely prefer not to do that. Because it just, not only does it make the game more challenging, which, you know, people do, people do like when the game's challenging, but it takes a little bit away from it. Um, it also makes it so that you're thinking more about the game than enjoying it, and it makes it less enjoyable because of that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I might actually have some trouble here. Okay, so, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy about that, that's, that's great. Uh, so, um, moving on, I, that's all I have time for uh, in this episode, so I will see you all later, but 
In the meantime, I'm going to try to stick to like a weekly upload schedule if I can. And I'm going to upload one episode a week. So today I'm going to upload the first video and then next week maybe on Saturday I think. Um, I'm going to try for Friday, Saturday or Sunday. I'm going to try for the weekend because that just, that's just how it works for me best. Um, I'm going to try to upload more. And I don't know what my recording schedule is. Honestly, my recording schedule is not weekly. I do know that for a fact. It's a little less than weekly because I'm kind of busy all the time. But when I get time, I will try to record more episodes so you guys have more to watch. And uh, I don't know, maybe have something to do in, in the time between uh, me updating fanfics and reading stuff and giving feedback and all that stuff. I try to be social, but it's kind of tough sometimes. You know, like I said, I'm always busy. And, uh, yeah, see, there I am already, overwriting the other file. And I wasn't even that far in the other file, I just, I start recording. But, uh, I will see you guys in the next episode, leave comments, uh, leave a like or a dislike, whatever you feel like doing, and maybe subscribe if you want to see more updates and stuff on this series. It's not so much about the game, but, you know... I, I still feel like I still feel like it could it could also be entertaining. And I will see you all later.